at least two to three drivers that recommend that crew. So if a crew says, hey, I want to jump on and I want to, you know, be on this Facebook group so I can start getting some money, you know, some jobs, right? Mm -hmm. Well, two to three drivers need to stand up for these crew guys and say, yo, this, these dudes are legit. There it is. What's going on, guys? Lockout Men back again with another video podcast for you guys today. And welcome back to the Lockout Men podcast show. I am your humble host, Lockout Men. And in, in today's episode, we're going to have another MTC. That's right. Make the call. And uh, who are we going to call today? I don't know who we're going to call today, but we're about to find out. Stevens Worldwide Van Lines. This comes by way of a subscriber, and he wanted to know about Stevens Worldwide Van Lines. But before we get into that, I want you to stop. I want you to subscribe, like, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button so that every time I come out with the MTC, you will always get it. You know what I'm saying? If you like it, it, I'm just saying, if you like content, if you like to support the channel, you can do that by way of hitting me up with some coffee. The link, the coffee link and the cash app link, it's in the description below. So let's get into it, y'all. Stevens Worldwide Van Lines. Let's head over to the bit board so we can see what we can uh, find out about Stevens. Stevens Worldwide Van Lines. They got a pretty good, they got a pretty good um uh website right here. Not much as far as you know, as far as details, but I of course I did make the call and I really couldn't get much details out of the guy that answered the phone. He was pretty much an agent, but again. You know, he he couldn't provide anything. So this says right here, drive for drive for Stevens. Uh, Stevens needs your driving expertise. Listen, if you guys have uh, like have a direct number or a direct phone or something like that, that you can hook me up with. I, I will I, I will make another make the call video for uh steven's worldwide van lines see that's why i tell you guys you guys send me this uh suggestions but you know help me out put in a little bit of work like you know get me a legitimate phone number to talk to someone that you want me to talk to i'm just saying uh it says right here you might see a lot of trucks advertised but the difference at steven's is that we'll treat you as respectful Respected member of the team, Stevens have been in business for more than a century, and we will connect you with the professional agent network that spans the United States. Truck driving careers want to drive for a company that values transparency and honesty. Come work for Stevens as a driver or a owner operator and get a sign on bonus on day one. That's a good question. Why drive for Stevens? Stevens offers one of the best conversation packages in the industry, as well as line haul advance with no service fee. You can earn additional conversation for quality performance and a low claim rate. Call this guy right here, which I did already. You know what? I probably might want, I, I probably might do it again. So pause. All right, I'm back. I am back. So I tried calling, no answer. Try calling again, no answer. Uh, so I, I, I honestly, I can't tell you guys if there's any other numbers that's available to get a hold of Stevens to try and work for him. But, um, but yeah, sorry about that. Couldn't get it done. But let's get into this call that I actually talked to somebody, which to be honest with you, wasn't that much information to be gathered. So let's go. Hey, what's going on, guy? Um, my name's uh, Sean. I'm a five-year truck driver. What I'm 
I'm I'm trying to get some information on how to you know how to how to become a driver for you guys and get some you know see what you guys got to offer. I'm calling like 50 million different phone numbers here, so hopefully you can help me out in that department. Uh, where are you located? You're located in the Cleveland area? Yeah, I'm out of Ohio. Okay, what kind of license do you have for driving? Uh, 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 commercial driver's license, CDLA. Yeah. So you have your Class A? Yes. Okay. Um, have you moved, you moved furniture before? Well, no, that's, that's why I'm trying to you know, get a, get a, uh, get a brief background of the company, see what it's about so I can, you know, learn more about it. I mean, I talked to, you know, I talked to a few drivers, uh, that has, uh, worked for moving companies before, you know, I talked to somebody from Ally, somebody from Mayfield, uh, you know, I'm just trying to see, you know, see what it's, see what it's about. So I'm just doing my, I'm doing my homework right, right now. So, you know, if you don't mind, I, I got some, I got some yeah. questions. The, I got some questions I want to ask about the company. Sure. Well, I could take down your name and information and pass it along. You know, this time of year we, we slow down, but, uh, you know, I could pass it along to, uh, someone that could probably, you know, take care of you for, have anything uh, what's your name and number uh well i'm curious to know do you is is there anybody there that i could talk now because if you no, i don't if, have anybody here now everybody's working pretty much remote oh uh, okay yeah because if it's like if you guys just slow down a lot of people are working at home <laughs> yeah i know right uh if you guys are slowed down or anything like that yeah, we're I, slow, I, we slow down you know these these, these guys these guys here are all owner operators. They have their own truck, um, you know, things like that. Just to, you know, off the bat, you know, own their own truck. Oh, okay. As far as the tractor. Oh, okay, um, okay, okay. So, com that, so. so coming in, so com so coming we in. We don't have any hourly empl employees. Oh, okay. Well, so coming in, coming in to drive for you guys, I already have to have my. I would already have to have my own truck, or. Owner operators, y'all y'all don't have oh okay. Right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But they but they pull yep. they everyone's they, owner operator. We have no hourly guys. Oh, okay. No, I'm not looking for you know, not looking for hourly, you know. I thought that we would get like cent per mile or something like that. But uh but basically basically it's is more you guys is geared more towards the owner operators. And then they'll just pull you guys trailers and get the dispatch from you guys. That's how that works. Well, we we are part of Wheaton Van Lines, so we're just a we're just a Cleveland agent for Wheaton to the Van Line. So you know, you might if you have any information, you could probably try to contact Wheaton as far as you know being a, a an owner operator and getting started and all that. You know. Uh, okay. You have to be qualified through them. Okay. 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 Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, bro. I, I appreciate it. Yep. All right. Thank okay, you. Okay. You take care. You too now. Thanks. Not much for that. So I'm not going to give a hand clap for that. But um, yeah, that was uh, Stevens Wheaton Fan Lines. Um, Unfortunately, I couldn't get much information for you guys uh, for this uh, particular company. Um, this is like a moving company. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do is probably reach out to Asian Mai. Yo, what's up, Logger, man? Okay, there you go. There you go. What's going on, man? <coughs> what's going on, bro? All right, so I wanted to, uh, I wanted to uh, get you get you in right quick um and this is pre-recorded by the way so we're not live or nothing like that but listen i got a i got a request to do uh a call on a moving company called stevens van lines are, are you hip to them yeah um 
it's just another moving company. I work for North American. The Stevens, North American, United, they're all like the same. You know what I mean? It's just a different. Okay. So I wasn't able to, uh, I wasn't able to, and I'm, I'm glad you, I'm glad that we're doing it today because I'm about to edit the video later on, uh, later on this evening so I can incorporate this call into that video. But I wanted to, uh, I wanted to, uh, you know, get you on so that you can like, you know, like tell people or kind of like, how did you, how how can how can people get into the moving aspect of trucking? Uh, is that a whole? Right. Is that like a whole nother uh, industry right there? Because I know it's a lot more intricate uh, parts to be in. Yeah, what, what is it called? A household no. household mover or household good mover or what? What? Yep. What is it called? Basically, household mover. But yeah, it's an old it's a it's an old school club, you know, because. Uh, you know, I'll be honest. Uh, we make we make pretty decent change. So you know, the household moving club don't really like other people in. Even even the guys that it's crazy. You know, even the guys that we hire to help us that have crews and are really good. Even even those guys uh, drivers don't even want to help get in because they don't want to lose helpers. You know. Okay. Okay. So you know, but I I can show people how to get in. Uh, and the crazy part is the agencies that hire people, they uh, actually want more movers because no one wants to freaking move furniture. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, that's the damn truth. I mean, who wants to load and unload furniture, drive a big ass truck into someone's residential, you know? Now, now for starters, let's 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 pull let's pull back for a second. Now, there's how, how many now I know it's uh, Mayflower. I know it's Mayflower. Yep. I know at what's the other one? Atlas. 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 Yeah, there's, Atlas. Yeah, there's Mayflower, Atlas, there's United. Uh there's Allied and North American are Allied is the sister company of North American. Mm -hmm. So North American and Allied are basically the same company. Stevens is a smaller fleet, but Stevens is another moving company. Uh, you know. So basically that's all that's really left these days. All right. Kind of those two. Oh, you know what? At JK Moving, mm -hmm. uh, they do a good job too. So there's like eight moving companies left. You know what I mean? All right. So so my man is is getting into this uh, getting into this part of trucking right here. Do you have to have your own truck, or you you pull for uh, you you actually work for an owner operator, or do you work for the company themselves? Yeah. So you got to jump in with your own truck. So. You could you could rock with their trailer, but they want you to have your own truck, or they can lease you a truck. Um, some smaller companies they might start you off at, as a, a company. They do have company drivers, mm -hmm. but uh, you know you, you just take less of a percentage. You take like a thirty percent or like thirty five percent, and they keep the rest. You know if you're an owner operator, uh, or you're not really an owner operator because you're under their authority, mm -hmm. but uh, you'll take seventy five to eighty percent. You know of the cut. You know what I mean? Okay. So, a lot of moving companies, they don't really want company drivers. They want owner-operators because what happens with us is we have to pay claims. When we break the furniture, we have to pay for the items we break. Mm -hmm. And we load a lot of expensive furniture. So, companies, they don't really want to have company drivers. They rather find the, you know, the, the gig and then give it to us. And they, can, they, they pimp us out and take a cut, you know what I mean? But then they don't have to worry about the claims. Okay. Are are you are yep. you are are you got now you you yourself you're an owner operator or you that's that's your yeah, that's correct. that's your truck. How long have you been how yeah. long, how long have you been in a household goods uh mo how long have you been a household good mover? So I've been uh I've been uh driving the truck for the last about 10 years, but I've been moving furniture every summer with my uncle forever. So you know, I never really wanted to jump in the truck. You know, I went and got my college degree. I got degreed up, business degrees, you know, became a, a, you know, like a realtor, did all these things. But I always knew there was money in moving. But, you know, let's be honest, when life didn't really work out and I wasn't really getting that six figure job that I wanted, you know, I asked my uncle for a chance to, you know, jump in his truck and have him really train me, you know? Okay, that's what's up. All right, so, so... 
you guys get dispatched from from the moving company to go pick up uh to pick up loads and stuff like that. How are you guys dispatched? Yeah, basically just like that, bro. So when it comes down to it, it's just, uh, you know, I asked my dispatcher for a load. He, you know, I'm like the worst of the worst of the movers because they know I'm trying to be some kind of YouTube guy. Mm -hmm. So I deny loads all the time. But, but you don't want to do that too much because, you know, a, a driver that doesn't want to work, you know, a dispatcher doesn't have to give them the nice loads. You know what I mean? Right, right. So, so you know, you don't want to say no too much, but since I've been in the game a while, um, and we have a, a score kind of like an Uber driver, you know, one to five. Five, you're like a master mover, you know? So mm -hmm. I've gotten the title of, you know, master mover or vanguard mover, mm -hmm. you know, uh, a few times. And currently right now I have a five score, but the only reason I have a five score is I didn't do a lot of moves this year, you know? Um, I didn't break too many items, you know, they gave me good reviews. But, so they give me first dibs all the time, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, I, I just say where I want to go. I want to go to Cali. They, they go, hey, my, we got five loads going to Cali. One pays 15 Gs, one pays 20, one pays 30, one pays 25. You know, this well, is what well, it is. Well, hold up, my, hold, hold up. So you, so you, you get paid for the individual uh, loads that's in the truck? Like individual Yeah, yeah, apps? yeah. And y'all, y'all get paid. Yeah, like, so y'all don't get, you don't get like a total, like a, like a total, like how they would do a regular drive-in driver like myself. Nah. You know, I would just get paid for the total. But you, you guys get paid for like the end, the individual. Uh, yep. Places we get paid for the packing. Uh huh. Yep. We get paid for the packing. We get paid for the unloading. We get paid for shuttling, which is if my truck don't fit into the uh, the spot, I gotta rent a U-Haul truck. Um, you know, sometimes people want their diamond chandeliers or uh, million dollar paintings. They want those in crates. We'll build crates. Uh, we charge like five to a thousand dollars a pop for that. So, I mean, to keep it real, 100, uh, I picked up four loads in California. I'm headed to Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. And, uh, the job with packing and all that pays me probably a gross of $25,000. And, uh, I'll probably put in my pocket, uh, you know, after real tax, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, probably twelve thousand for like nine days worth of work. Okay. Now you, you the driver, and I'm I'm I went to some groups. You know, I talked to a household mover, uh, like way back in the day when I started. You know, when I started this interview thing, and I talked to him, and he said, you know, he sends out requests. You know, you probably might be in the same groups as well, but he sends out requests to the people that's going to be in the end. I mean, be in the area to help unload. So do right. you do you unload or how do you now before be before Facebook and all this other stuff? How did you guys? How did we do it? Right. Yeah. <laughs> how, how did you how did yeah, you guys yeah. send out the request to guys like, hey, I'm going to be in Los Angeles. I'm going to be at this building. I'm going to need you guys to hear. And yeah. also, if you can, that comes out of out of the total pocket as well, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Here's the, you know, so to answer that first question, they got to pay me the 25000 They don't give a crap how much money I have to spend to get the job done. If my truck blows up, I got to rent a truck. It, I got to pay $4,000 for packing. You know, I got to pay for the U-Haul. They don't care. They're just, this is what we're paying you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you got to make that work. And sometimes people got habits or people trucks break down and they go in the red real quick. So it's not all glamour. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as the help goes, uh, back in the day, so they would give you paperwork and when they give you paperwork, they'll give you an OA and a DA or an origin agent and a destination agent. Okay. And basically, you know, you, you hit them, you hit up the origin, the origin agent where you're picking up and you, you ask them, Hey, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm picking up this shipment. Uh, do you have any workers that you have that you could put on my clock? And that's pretty much how it always was. But what ended up happening was guys were starting to get smart. And those guys that were working for the local companies, they, they quit the local companies and they started their own crews. Hmm. And they, they work harder. They're uh, a little bit more professional and they're, you know, faster. Mm -hmm. But they demand more money, mm. you know. And so... You know, when you're working with uh, a job, 
depending on what kind of jobs you get, you know, I get, I get the very expensive jobs, you know, jobs where the clients, you know, spend 50 to a hundred thousand dollars or their company's paying for that. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not going to get some dudes at home Depot, you know what I'm saying? Right. Right. So the guys, but, you know, that's, that's basically what we do. So the guys, uh, the guys that garner uh, a little bit more money, are they more reliable? Yeah, because uh, now that there's Facebook groups, uh, when they do you dirty, all you got to do is post them up. And to be honest, there's only a few Facebook groups that us movers use. So once your crew gets like X listed or D listed, uh, you ain't gonna have no jobs. You know what I mean? Okay. And so you're gonna you're gonna get hungry real quick. So uh, it puts pressure on them. Uh, now we were running into a problem where we would call guys up. They would tell us they could cover it, but then they would send Joe Schmo over to cover the job. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And that that was that was messing their crew names up. Okay. And you know I don't care, man. I mean, uh, if we're if we're gonna be professional, we gotta be professional. Right. If you do me dirty and your guy breaks all my stuff or uh, God forbid steal stuff or whatever it is, then hey, I'm gonna let all my mover friends know that never use this crew again. You know right. what I mean? All right. And so they, so they, so they like they, they, co- they come at you. They, they come at you like, uh, like, like, like you said. They come at you like crews and all like that. Is there, is there, yeah. uh, is there a particular crew that you that you moving guys like to use as far as as far as of uh, uh, availability, um, uh, yeah. quality of their yeah, work. Definitely. Uh, the quality of their work and, you know, they, you know, being that they can, you know, come in and do the damn thing without without you having any problems with them? Oh, yeah, 100%. So the way these Facebook groups work is for uh, a crew to even get on the group, us as drivers, we're allowed on the group already. We don't got to go through nothing, no hoops. But if you're a, a crew that wants to jump on the group and, and start helping out drivers, uh, most um, group, they want at least two to three drivers that recommend that group. So if a crew says, hey, I want to jump on and I want to, you know, be on this Facebook group so I can start getting some money, you know, some jobs, right? Mm-hmm. Well, two to three drivers need to stand up for these crew guys and say, yo, this, these dudes are legit. You know what I'm saying? They're good. Okay, okay, okay. So, you know, we keep it tight. We keep it tight. We're Every almost every damn mover that I see at a truck stop, I I know. I might not say hi to them, but I seen them on Facebook or uh, you know what I mean. Like we're so small, I'm sure they all hate me because I be showing what we make and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pretty much. So I've Pretty had a, I've had a yeah I, yeah. But as movers come up to me saying I'm messing up the game and you know hurting their pocket, they can't feed their kids. Uh, you know I've had that happen to me, so you know. Okay, I'm that's... probably not the favorite mover. <laughs> you, they say you probably might not be the favorite mover because you're giving away all of the, all of the, all of the secrets and shit like that, huh? Hey, yeah, we. I just want people to win, man. Uh, you know, if anyone ever watches what I do, I I could really give a shit less how many subscribers and all this. It's fun to build up, but at the end of the day, you know, if you and I can, you know, maybe motivate or elevate someone to the next level, that's cool, man. Like. You know, I see what you do, Lockout Man. You put a lot of energy, you know what I'm saying? And so, I appreciate you know, it. We got to do some collabs. That. And you, know you do, hey, we, you up, we, you know? get, we got, we we getting it together, man. This this is one of them right here because you know I I called I, I called uh you know I called the place and did and the guy that I talked to really wasn't giving me no no good information as far as uh you know how can a how can a regular driver you know, convert over to a right, right. uh, household mover. So, yeah. And I was like, well, so wait let's a get minute. to that point right there. Right. I yeah, was like, true. I was it like, won't. hold up. I was like, my man, I said, my man, my, he's a, he's a household mover and he's crushing it. Maybe I can, I can, uh, you know, get his insight on, on how, uh, a ordinary Joe Schmo can, can come over. But, but you gotta, it's, it's like, you gotta know somebody to know somebody to know somebody to get, and so, <laughs> nah, it's not, it's not really that bad. It's not really that bad. What what drivers do is they kind of scare people out of it because it, we don't get paid as good as we used to. I mean, oh, hello, thousand growth. 
Oh, hold on, Mike. You just fe- you fell you fell off there for a little bit. What you were saying? Re- oh, no problem. Yeah, what, what you just so, say? So I said in the sixties and seventies, movers were making four hundred thousand dollars plus gross a year because there was no competition. You know what I'm saying? There was no ABF freight. There was no two men in a truck. There's no uh, you know no internet, right? Mm-hmm. So you could charge up for everything. You know, if there's a safe, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am, we got to charge more money. Oh, is there a piano? Oh, sorry, ma'am, we got to charge more money. Now, as a mover, even if it's a long-ass carry, we don't get paid more. Even if it's, you know, we only get paid for the weight. So all that extra BS, we don't get that. Plus, competition is steep now. There's all these companies, and, you know, there's all these Internet companies where, you know, they got pods. They could just drop it off at your house. Mm -hmm. You could load it yourself, right? So... The game has changed, right? Where we're actually making less money now. So when a mover makes like two hundred and fifty thousand or three hundred thousand gross a year, they got to work twice as hard for that money just to make a hundred G's net. So they're unhappy. But for we'll call him Joe Schmo, you know, he might be cool with a hundred thousand, right? You know what I'm saying? Like for right, everyone, it's right, different, right? Right. I mean, if if you and I are basketball players and we're used to making four million dollars a year. We gotta feel pretty bad about ourselves if we're only making half a bill. Exactly. You know? It's just exactly. like human behavior. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what that is. But I would say this: for people that want to be a mover and get in the game, I I can show you how to get the help. I can show you how to do all that. You don't even gotta get out of the truck. But to get hired as a mover, companies, agencies, they care more that you have moving experience than, than you do a, a CDL exactly. experience. Oh, okay. So, so you might get a dude that come up and be like, "Oh my, I got ten years experience." True, but how many moving years experience do you have? Oh, zero. See, they rather you have six months CDL or a year CDL, but like two years moving. You know, they because the biggest piece of our business is breaking furniture, and if you don't know how to load it, even if you can get help, sometimes the help don't show up. You know, sometimes it's on you, right? Mm-hmm. So. They don't want to trust in that because, believe me, moving companies have gone desperate and they've tried to hire just people that are CDL holders with no moving experience Mm -hmm. and they break everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm. They don't mean to. They just don't know the game. So long story long, I guess, if you want to be a mover, what you want to do is you want to Google up like, you know, van lines. Whatever, North American, United, Allied, Mayflower, Atlas, uh, JK Moving, it don't matter. Find that one near your house, and when summertime comes, tell them you got a CDL, and you would like to be an owner-operator, but for now, you got to learn how to move. So in that six months, you're going to learn a lot of moving. But here's the problem. As a helper, you're kind of taking two steps back, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because you're only getting paid like, $15 Fifteen dollars an hour. Okay. Okay. But so that's why a lot of guys, when I tell them about, it, they're like, "Oh my, I can't do that. I'm already used to making forty, fifty, sixty G's a year. I can't go back and make fifteen dollars an hour." Mm. But if you're able to go two steps back, you know, you that can slingshot you and propel you to go five steps forward. You feel me? Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, that's and that's a good way to look at it too. You know, sometimes you do gotta you sometimes you do gotta step back a little bit, look at the big picture, and once you figure, you know, once you see the big picture, then you're able to, you know, advance forward. So, my hey, oh, hey. dri- being the driver, uh, being the driver, you are the captain. You you're the one that's you're the one that's responsible even for. Uh, even for the guys that's you know that's helping you move all the stuff out. So of course, if they if they break something or or they they mess, me, yep. they mess something up, it's on you. How do you do you do you still pay the guys, or do you like take something out of their pay, or do you? Or nah, let me, let some, some you, drivers do that, but yeah, let me ask I don't you, do that. Let me ask you this: Do you pay them before? They help you, or do you pay them after they help you? Um, it, uh, I mean, standard is you pay after, but um, I've been in the game long enough where, you know what I'm saying, when I get into town, you know, my crews want to hang out with me, you know what I'm saying? They want to mm-hmm. take me out to eat, you know, mm-hmm. we break bread, we're, 
You know, I use the same crews everywhere I go. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I got a crew that I use everywhere. So they know that I do YouTube. They know that, you know, as a mover, as a driver, they call us, I'm a pretty easygoing guy. So, like, you know, when they see me, they, you know, we're more like friend relationship, right? So, you know, they ask me to stay at their house or if I need to take a shower or, you know what I mean? Mm. So, like, it's different. Sometimes I do go to, like, South Dakota where I never go and I got to get some dudes. And, you know, if I don't know their work, I'm going to see how they work before I pay them. You know what I mean? Okay, that's what's up. Now, as far as as far as driving the truck, because them trailers, yep. them, yep. <laughs> them, some, them some wild trailers right oh, there. Ass, oh, ass trailers, man. People see me back it up, and they're like, why can't this dude turn? This thing turns like a damn boat. Yeah, you know man. so you, you, you guys, you, you said in the, in, in the beginning of our conversation, you said that you, you go into residential areas. How hard is, how hard or how difficult is it to uh, navigate that big man. ass truck, man? Man, it sucks, man. And I'll tell you this. Uh, I'm always holding my butt and I'm hoping I'm squeezing my butt cheek, hoping that I make it. Uh, it's, sometimes it's easy. And then when you're done with the job, you can't get out because cars are parked and then you're stuck. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, it gets stressful, man. And, you know, to be honest, it's really not that easy to turn a buck. You know what I mean? Like, right. like anyone that tells you they're making a lot of money, I mean, are you really making a lot of money? Because at the end of the day, my, my agency, that's the broker on this, they just take 25% off the bat. For doing nothing but get the gig, you know? Right. You know, and I'm over here like, and let's be honest, all I got to do is break one decent-sized furniture piece or scratch someone's car or driving, you know, or doing some weird thing, and all the money that I was supposed to make, it goes out the window, you know what I mean? Wow. So, you know, it happens, man. It happens. Uh, I've, I've helped homies get into this game, and, uh, you know, the guy slips, doesn't mean to. Piano goes from the third floor to the second to the first. Rolls out the house, hits the Mercedes. Mm. Now the dude owes like forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars, and insurance ain't gonna pay for all that. You know what I mean? Now, now you've been in. You you've been the mover. You know, first first thing first. I like to thank you for coming on and uh and chopping it up with me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, just a few more, just, you know, because I know you're a busy man. You, you busy with your YouTube. You busy with your, uh, with you your better stop, man. Hey, I'm and, driving. Uh, hey, you, know I, you better I'm stop. I'm driving right now, man. I'm, <laughs> dude, I'm, I, Hey, I'm a real certified truck driver. I'm driving right now. And you know, you got me for the next, you know, uh, I'm driving 189 more miles. So whatever <laughs> questions you got, brother, I guess, uh, we good. You know what I mean? Uh, uh yeah. whatever game I can help spit, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't know much, but the stuff I do know, I, uh, uh, you know, I, I try to be efficient at it. You know. Yeah, that's what's up. So you've been, you've been, you've been moving. You, you've been moving. You say for the last what eight years? Um, as far yeah. as 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 far as the money goes, man. Uh, you know, you just mentioned that the you know the moving guys out there they hate when you you know when you put your money out there because I guess they don't you know they don't want they you know they don't want their money to be known or nothing like that. But right. the for for some of the best movers like some like like yourself, what is what is the average? Uh, what is the average? What you guys get paid like weekly, two weeks, so, monthly? No, every time we're done with so when we're done with the job, we submit our paper and our company pays us. But like, uh, like my homie that works for our agency, uh, he grosses like four hundred and fifty thousand a year. So from that four fifty, he probably takes home a good one ninety. You feel me? Okay. One eighty. Okay. You know, net right, and that's the top level. Me, my sorry ass, I'm lazy. I work for like. Depending on what I'm doing, I'll work for like five months out of the year, and then I'll gross like 190, and then I'll take home like 80, which I'm cool with because for you know it's about it's about time with me. You know, mm -hmm. uh, when I worked at Walgreens, I'm working the whole damn year to make 50 G's. So if I can work half the year and make 80, why am I why am I sacrificing my life? You know, because one thing we'll never get back is time. So exactly. that's what uh that's why I like the moving game. You know what I'm saying? But on average. You're probably making about 
every mover, I don't care who you are, if you work, work the whole year, you're making at least 100 cheese. Okay. What, the pocket. Now, when I talked to the guy, he, he was telling me uh, that there are slow periods. So what, what, are, what, what are the slow periods that he's talking about? So as far as that goes, you know, you just got to think about, like, um, you know, um, a season. Mm-hmm. Like, for a lot of people, you know, if they're going to move, well, they can't move when their kids are in school. Right. They got to move when their kids are out of school. Right. So summer's going to be popping, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know what I mean? Things like that. Uh, when it's real cold, people don't want to move. So because of that reason, summer's popping hard. Winter is slow as hell. Okay. So we try to get all our peanuts and walnuts in the summer. And and then in the winter, it's not that we're not making money. Instead of us doing, you know, four loads a, a month or three or four you end up only doing one or two. Okay. The one or two, you can still make two, you know. Our goal usually is to make to the pocket at least three to five Gs a week, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's so, up. You know, well, Asian, so that's what it is. Well, Asian Mai, man, thank you very much for coming on, man. I do appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Coming on, chopping it up with me. Uh, because like I said, this was a, this was a special request from... Um, this was a special request from you know from a from a, a subscriber. You know he was really interested in uh, Stevens van lines, but I figured I figured since I couldn't get what I needed out of out of them, you know you definitely was the next best thing. And and all this all all the jewels that you just gave today, I really do appreciate it, bro. Uh, no, no, thanks, man. I appreciate you. I, you know, I like your platform. You know, it's it's, it's cool that you could just uh, connect with drivers while they're driving and doing their thing, and you know, real life. And you know, you're just doing it. I know just to help people uh, jump on game. So, you know, I appreciate you letting me on the show. Not a problem, man. Not a problem. Hey, you stay safe out there, man. And uh, what 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 you got going on this weekend, man? Anything? Nah, I'm uh. I'm driving now. I'm parking in Indianapolis today, and then uh, making my way to Washington D.C., dropping off, and then I'm on get home. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Well, you stay safe out there, man. Of course, you know I'm always following you and all like that. You know, you just dropped a, you know, Asian Mai. He just dropped a, a video for Walmart. You know what I'm saying? Exposing their, you know, their pay and all like that, and talking to the driver and stuff like that, man. So yeah, for sure. You guys check them out. AsianMai.com. You that you got a website too, right? I, I just said AsianMai.com, yeah. right? Yeah, and check yep, them, that's check, right. check them out on YouTube, Asian Mai, and you can definitely hit them up in the uh, Instagram or its same name, Asian Mai. I appreciate it, man. All right. All right, man, you stay safe. Thank you. You too. No problem. Bye. Asian Mai, everybody. So sometimes, you know, it's unfortunate that I don't have the, you know, you don't see me, you know, on the video and all like that. You know, when I'm at home, I'm at home. I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? And But sometimes, you know, you just get that, that, that interview or that person that may know something about, uh, something about something and you need to talk to them on their time. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to the asian my to the asian my show for coming on and giving me his time and all like that so i hope uh i hope all the information i i gave you know got for you now as far as household good movers because that's what the you know that's what that part of the industry is called household good movers um they definitely got some Facebook groups and and if you a driver that's interested in getting uh that's trying to get into uh household good movers, like he said, just you know, Google who you want, you know, you pretty much have to have your own truck though. 
All right, so that's it, y'all. You guys take it easy, and I'll holler back at y'all in a minute. And and probably chop it up with him as far as uh as far as what the what what's what pertains to you guys moving. So give me a second. Let me see if I can I can get a hold of him. I guess what I would probably suggest you guys do, uh, because some of these moving companies, I, I don't think they have their own fleets. Uh, I know I talked to one gentleman from Ally, and he was an owner operator. So from what I got, from what I have learned, about uh like moving companies like like Stevens van lines is that um these are owner operators that comes into the companies with their own trucks and I guess they're leased on to the company that they're moving for. Now these are these are touch freight. But what it is, is that when you go to like different companies or different cities or different places, you have to put a call out to uh, different people to come and meet you to come and unload the trailer. Um, I can't remember the video that I had. I, I know it's probably like in the link, you know, in my in my um in my archives, but I, like I said, I know I talked to a brother that was telling me about, uh, about moving companies like Ally, like Stevens, um, Mayflower and the rest of them. Uh, again, what I would suggest you guys do is go over to the Asian, my show channel. He's, uh, he's a mover. Uh, you might want to, you know, try and chop it up with him as far as uh as far as seeing what you can uh what you can what you can get out of uh Stevens van line and on this note <clears throat> That is it for this episode of Lockout Man Podcast, the MTC edition. I unfortunately I wasn't able to find out anything more about the company, man. I, I apologize. You know, I, I would like to get I would like to get the information out there to you guys, but if I can't if if I can't find none or or the information just isn't good, then it it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Well if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more. You know what I'm saying? Hit me up. Hit me up in the uh, Gmail. That's lockout men. G I mean lockout men podcast at gmail.com. Instagram at lockout men. You can hit me up over there. If you like content like this and you want to, and you want information about companies or anything like that. Suggest them in the comments below and at the email and at the DM that I just mentioned. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to uh, don't. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for listening. And if you guys want to hook me up, man, hook me up with some coffee, man. I'm thirsty right now. That's the um, coffee app and the cash app is in the description below. So that is about it. I'm about to get on up out of here. You guys take it easy, and I will come back at you guys with another video. Peace. Searching, 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 searching.